hey. do so much. Yeah, of course. Your talk. Of course. Um, recently, I think I found out that I might be depressed. Mm -hmm. And when you sit on the screen, like the best thing to do is tell someone. That's what I did immediately. And it just gave me even more reason to, you know, talk to people. Absolutely, about it. absolutely. And to get help. Because I was like, I, I've seen what happens to people when they don't get help. It's and so. Mm -hmm. When I saw your message, I was like, that just is a sign to me that I'm doing the right thing. To Good get for you. Help. I'm so, proud of you. So with peer-to-peer -peer presentations, I go and I share my life story, and then afterwards I have many students come and try to ask me questions and talk about, you know, their, they tell me about their experience, they get honest with me, or they ask me more about my experience, and I can be there to help these students. My son said to me, he said, you know, I know you always told me that marijuana was a gateway drug, but I didn't really believe you. I just thought you were doing your not my kid thing on me. He said, but after hearing Taylor speak, I know for a fact it is a gateway drug. And he really, he was moved by him. And he really listened to what Taylor said, especially when he talked about being on one of his drug binges and just what he really went through. It really affected him and it made him really think about it. We've seen the negative impact of unhealthy decisions and unhealthy behaviors on students, on families, on society as a whole. If we can intervene or actually prevent that from even occurring in the first place, we're gonna save lives, we're gonna change lives, and it's gonna make a tremendous impact on individuals and our community as a whole. Not My Kid was founded based on one topic, which was substance abuse. But once the organization got on campuses, we realized that students were dealing with more than that. So we work on what we call an interdependence model. If a young person, for example, is dealing with bullying at school, then they may in turn get depressed because of it and then turn to substances to try and deal with it. Or they may have unhealthy relationships other places or be dealing with body image issues or find themselves getting bullied online. And so these are the six topics that we deal with. You know, when going in and sharing our story, it helps students realize that we're not just there like to tell them what to do or anything like that. Instead, we're there to share a little bit of our story and them realizing that this is someone that struggled with it. They don't just know the theory behind it. It's someone that's been down in the trenches before. And so because of that, the walls come down. We get to have a real conversation about it. We get to debunk myths, go over the negative effects, but really highlight those positive ways that they can deal with whatever life throws at them. I've had a motivation to support prevention ever since I was in college. It was a calling when I was at a very young age going through uh, my own personal experience with substance abuse and realizing that I wanted to help people not go down that path as well. Sometimes families get so busy, parents get so busy, kids get so busy, and they realize a week, a month, maybe even several months have gone by, they haven't sat down, had a conversation, and actually actively engaged with one another in ages. And we wanna create that conversation, we wanna create those dialogue points for them to get them to sit down and start conversing with one another. Every staff member that represents this organization is so talented, they have so much heart so much passion and their skill to connect with kids and parents is powerful. I'm so grateful for them, for everything that they do, how hard they work and how committed they are to our mission.